Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here, broadcasting from remote, but we are going to stay in the Lansing area right now. We're going to run down to uh, the MEDC, Michigan Economic Development Corporation, spend a little time here with Josh Hunt, Executive Vice President and Chief Business Development Officer for MEDC. And uh, Josh, it was good seeing you. Uh, first of all, thanks for making time for us today, but it was great seeing you up at the policy conference. Well, thank you for having me, and it was great great to see you, and, and great to see so many people and hear wonderful conversations about what we can do to collectively move Michigan forward as Team Michigan. You know, we had that uh, policy conference last year, and, and out of out of context, sort of, you know, at the at the nine month interval, uh, and then this one closely thereafter. This one felt amazingly like they used to feel, in my estimation. It did. It really did. It felt it felt like uh, it was a great crowd up there, r- wonderful conversations and, and great announcements as well about uh, what's happening today and, and what we can do for for going forward. I, I felt uh, like it was a very positive week for everyone. All right. We're going to get into that a little bit. But first, let's give everybody a kind of a primer, a, a reacquaintance to uh, what you do as the chief business development officer. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, at the MEDC overall, our, our role is really making sure that all 10 million Michiganders and all 83 counties of the state see themselves in the economy and see themselves as fully participating in the great things happening here in this state. Specifically, in my role, I'm working with businesses across the state to make sure that when they are looking to invest, that they're looking at Michigan as the first place they look and the last place that they look uh, before they would decide where to make that investment take place. We know that we need great communities and we can benefit from the talent and workforce here that we have in the state. Uh, And I'm responsible for making sure that companies continue to choose to invest in those great communities for the talent workforce that we have here in Michigan. Well, and you know, it's it's actually been a pretty good endeavor too. You've been able to, to kind of oversee nudge, help be the catalyst for uh, for a number of good projects. Yeah, we've we've had some great projects take place this year, including just last week uh, with the announcement of Ford's project to invest over $2 billion and create 3,000 jobs uh, across Southeast Michigan. It's a highlight to the type of work that we can see happen here in the state when, the, when, the, when uh, all partners across uh, across the state work together to to bring projects of that type here and a continued example of uh, Michigan as the home of the automotive industry in North America and that builds off of uh, announcements by LG Energy Solution in Holland for quintupling the size of their uh, battery facility in the state and General Motors largest investment they've ever made as a company in January announcing investments in Delta Township near Lansing and Orion Township to see those three projects happen in such quick succession, show that Michigan is winning and Michigan is prepared to lead the next generation of mobility and electric vehicles, just like we led the last generation as well. Yeah, and we need to do exactly that. You're right. And of course, battery operation is a big part of that. Um, let's let's run back now to the policy conference because there were some pretty important uh, announcements up there. What, 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 what did you feel were the really pertinent hard hitting ones. Yeah, I think two that really stood out to me as as being important were the Ford announcement that I just uh, that I just mentioned that highlighted the opportunity that we have for the state to continue to lead uh, in automotive manufacturing, but it builds off of what Ford uh, also has been working on with their research and development center and headquarters transformation in Dearborn, as well as the innovation district. Uh, that they are building in Detroit near the train station uh, shows that Michigan can win in all aspects of the automotive and mobility. The other key announcement that really stood out to me was an announcement that we made at the MEDC in partnership with the governor, World Economic Forum, Oakland County, and Automation Alley for the establishment of the first U.S. uh, advanced manufacturing hub of the World Economic Forum. And what that does is that, that takes us from the great things that we see happening in advanced manufacturing in Michigan onto the global stage so that others across the country and around the world continue to see Michigan as a home, not just of mobility and automotive manufacturing, but all advanced manufacturing, uh, like medical device, aerospace, defense, and others, that Michigan can be where the future of manufacturing is uh, across North America and around the world. 
Yeah, and it's interesting you throw aerospace in there because now we're talking mobility, right? Transportation. Absolutely, yes, yes, absolutely. They, they really come into play. Uh, four months left in the fiscal year. What, what are some of the priorities that you're going to be working on here? Well, our, our biggest priority really is continuing to make sure that we're building off the momentum that we saw from the projects that I, I've talked about here and, and many others uh, that we've seen, as well as making sure that we recognize that uh, we need to make sure that every aspect of economic development is touching as many people in this state as possible. At the end of the day, the focus has to be on the 10 million Michiganders uh, that live here. And these project announcements are wonderful, but it really has to be about the families and the workers uh, that, that fill those jobs. And so our focus is on making sure we're providing the best customer service that we can for our communities, for our town, workforce, and businesses across all 83 counties of the state. Well, and let's and let's face it, we are in our best economic circumstance here in Michigan when the middle class is doing its best. So we we need that. We absolutely do. That's absolutely hey, right. Josh, always good to see you. Um, I wish we'd had more time on the island, but we did get to throw some barbs at each other across the room. So <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that was good. All right. Josh Hunt, Executive Vice President and uh, Chief Business Development Officer at MEDC. Take care and keep up the good work, my friend. Thank you. You too. All right. You're watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Hunt.